damper. Hi there, Stampers. Thanks for joining us today. We're going to be making this really darling treat box for Halloween. It's a little witch's hat. So stinking cute. You're going to love how easy this is and how quick it is to put together. Let's get Okay, we're going to start with a piece of basic black cardstock that is 11 and a half inches by 4 inches. And we'll just fold that in half. Just use a bone folder to get a nice crisp line. And then open it up. I'm going to use my grid paper to measure in 2 inches and I'm just going to put a little mark on the 2 inches. And I'll do the same on both sides. I'm using my wheel guide, but you could also use a ruler for this. I am just lining it up with the 2 inch mark that I just made and the fold in the center. And I'm using my bone folder and I'm going to put a score line on either side. So we have a V here and I'll do the same on the opposite side. Once we have our score lines, I'm just going to fold on those lines. And then you can actually fold it up and you can see we already have our witch's hat. All we need is the brim and some decoration. That's how easy this project is. For the brim, I took a piece of ba basic black cardstock that is one inch by seven inches. And using my grid paper again, I'm going to mark in two inches from either edge. So at the two inch mark and at the five inch mark, I'm going to put, and then I'm just, you can either use your scissors or your paper cutter. I'm just going to use my scissors to trim that. So I'm going from the outer corner straight into that mark and that's our little brim. To decorate the outer edge of this I'm going to use our extreme element stamp set from Stampin' Up and I'm going to take out the stars and I'm going to stamp these just a couple of times without re-inking because the craft ink you're able to do that. It's a thick pigment ink. I'm going to attach the brim of the hat using a little bit of snail. Stick it right in the center and now you'll see when we fold this up there she is. This is just a three quarter inch strip of designer paper called Cast a Spell from Stampin' Up. I'm gonna use it for our decoration on the brim. So I'm just gonna snip off a piece and what I'm, and what I'm gonna do is attach it on here and then just trim off the edges. Oh, I feel bad for these cute little purple skulls on the back. Sorry we won't see you on this project. Now to trim off that extra piece, I'm just gonna fold this in and trim. And then I'll do the same on this side. And voila, almost there. I've got just a scrap of basic black cardstock and our modern label punch. Just punch that out. This is a two-way glue pen from Stampin' Up. I'm gonna shake it up. And I'm gonna color the whole back of this. This is a powder pal tray. I'm just using it for the excess powder. This is some orchid fine powder. Just gonna pour it right over there. We'll find a little guy in there. Shake off all the extras. Give it a good flick. And now we have our glitter. Look at how pretty that is. Just take any extra glitter and just dump it right back into the jar with our powder pal tray. I'm gonna go back to the strip that was three quarter inches that we used earlier and I'm just gonna cut a little square off of it. And this is just gonna stick right in the center for our buckle. And, and then we will stick this right on top. Isn't that beautiful? Now to keep her closed, I'm gonna use the crocodile to punch holes on either side of the top. And the crocodile has, see these side, little side punchers here? This side is 3 sixteenths. I'm just gonna slide that right in, punch that hole, flip it over, and do the other side. So now there are holes on either side. This is uh, Stampin' Up's orange striped grosgrain ribbon. Love this ribbon. I'll just cut a section of that off. Now to thread that through, I just thread it through one hole at a time. I found was the easiest. And before we tie her tight, we gotta put the most important part in here. I have here some Halloween gummy body parts. I know, gross, but you gotta have them, right? We'll stick those right inside. Once you have your goodies inside, then you can tie it up tight. Just tie that right on the top. And one last thing I wanted to do to this was to really shred the top to make it look like a really old witch's hat. And you can do that one of two ways. You can separate the um, fibers here and pull on the main fiber until it unravels. Or if you are impatient, like I am, you can take a pair of scissors and have at it. Just get in there and shred, watch your fingers. Once you're good and shredded, look at how cool that looks. You can take a little pair of scissors and give her a little haircut up here. And when you're done, you have this simply adorable witch's hat treat box. Happy Halloween. Join us again.